Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another episode of Wick TV. Gang, we're late. There's been a misunderstanding, a miscommunication. I take full responsibility for this. Uh, Mr. Girl thought this was going to be at 8 o'clock. Um, obviously, it's not. It's at 6 o'clock, but uh, I must have miscommunicated that somehow or did not make it clear. Uh, so we're going to compromise. Um, he's going to come in at 7 o'clock, right? So for the next hour, um, I, I thought about, you know, we could just end stream and then come back in an hour, but I thought, nah, 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 we won't do that. I think it would be interesting to talk to Wu about how she thought uh, her conversation with Destiny went. I also want to open this up. If you have questions that you'd like to ask either of us about anything, um, you can go to the Discord, jump in backstage, and come in and talk to us about this. But uh, again, I want to apologize up front uh, about the uh, timing issue, right? Um, I, I'm not sure how uh, the miscommunication happened, but again, I should have been much more clear and much more... Um, uh, open with it uh, to all the participants and somehow uh, this communication happened so my bad gang uh, but hey we're gonna do what we can and this will happen it's just gonna happen in, a, in an hour or so uh, but until then how you doing Brianna? Hey I'm feeling really good uh, it's been a good week uh, it's just been crazy how about you? Oh uh, there's been a lot happening in the Twitch poll world right? Um, a little bit a yeah. little bit uh, um, you know there may it could be safe to say there's been a little bit of drama over the President Sunday stuff just just that much just a little bit, right? A little um, bit, yeah. Have you been following uh, the back and forth? Uh, first of all, did you see uh, Not So Aerodite's video? The, yeah, the it was excellent. Video? Yeah. It was excellent. I don't know how excellent. anyone could possibly... I mean, uh, it's, it's open and shut at this point, you know? Ooh! Open and shut. So. Um, I do, yeah. The other night, however, I think uh, I saw... Because one of the things that was happening in the Twitch poll world is a lot of people were reviewing Sunday's video. And so a lot of people were waiting on that Saturday's response. So a lot of them, um, when she dropped it, covered that too. Lonerbox did an excellent job. Um, Chud Logic is off this week, but he's going to cover that when he's back. Uh, quite a few streamers did it, small, from small to big. Um, and that generally was the response. However, that wasn't, um, there wasn't a, entirely a full consensus. Uh, Demon Mama actually uh, reviewed it as well. And that's been really? a source of, of controversy as well. Oh no, because she's my friend. That's what she said. Uh, well, um, as I understand it, uh, she's very much a uh, ran defense for president sunday again Ooh. i haven't seen all of it i've just been made aware so i hesitate yeah. to, to ran defense. i encourage you to watch her response if you haven't seen it and make your own judgment i'm not going to tell you what to think here uh but again from the clips i've seen it it, it seemed it like when you say it's an open and shut case apparently not to everyone and i'm trying my very best because i agree with you i think it is an open and shut case and i'm trying my very my very best to understand what people's problems Still are. Uh, the assertion, as I understand it, was that she pro? misrepresented her credentials in order to defraud people. But again, in her response video, she put forth her credentials. She put forth how what she was saying was accurate according to the job market of her area and accurate uh, according to her um, uh, experience, right? Um, she, she had receipts. I, I don't... And this was all in the first 10 minutes, right? So I don't... I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel you. I mean... <sighs> Look, I'm not going to pretend. I mean, my sympathy is obviously more with, uh, you know, right? I mean, she's my friend. I like her. Um, you know, just, just speaking honestly, uh, as someone who's been sober for 20 years, um, it's eminently clear to me that she works like as a professional in this field. She uses the language. She has the demeanor of everyone I've ever met that you know, works in that field. Um, when I spoke to her, she never made any claims of this being therapy. In fact, something she very specifically said to me was, you know, I don't usually talk to people who are in recovery because I don't want them to think I'm their therapist or give them advice or do anything that's gonna knock them off course. But because you've been sober for so long, I will make an exception here. And that moment really impressed me about the standard she holds herself to. So, you know, I, I, I feel like I've seen the woman and the standard she holds herself to like behind the scenes and it, it was very impressive uh, in my view. Yeah. Um, another comment that was made, right, uh, on the, on the no! show itself, right? Uh, the Demon Mama's response show itself was that I had brought in, um, and this is in reference to our appearance on the death, uh, uh, our Destiny's appearance on my show. Uh, with President Sunday. One Later of the claims bitch. that she made, or at least that she had heard made, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if she's making this claim or she's just saying that she heard this claim being bandied about, was that I had brought on you and three others to just shit on President Sunday as an ambush. Um, that President Sunday was uh, uh, brought in to be made the fool of. And I uh, I take I take issue with that. I, I just want to take a minute, right? I just want to take a minute to explain to everyone um, how I set up my panels, right? And how I set up my show and uh, how I conduct myself in this space. Um, I have, I am not an unbiased actor. I will be very upfront with you. I have opinions. Um, I have thoughts and I have my uh, own biases towards topics, people, and things. That is true, right? But at really, the same bro? time, I try my best to build in a balanced as I can. I'm not perfect at it, right? Later, Sometimes bitch. I mess up and it's a little one-sided. That happens. It's happened more than once, right? People change their minds during the panel or people will change their minds between the time I invite them and bring them on or they misrepresent what they say to me or I misinterpret what they say to me. All these things are true. When I brought President Sunday in, when I invited him on, it was before he released his uh, Not So Erudite uh, uh, video. It was before That's that. That's true. That's true. Um, he knew the guest list beforehand. I built this guest list beforehand, uh, with the exception of maybe, I think, Katie. I think Katie I might have brought in afterwards. Bro. Um, I 
what? did my best, right, to ensure that a, a diversity of thought was present, that it wasn't going to be just everyone agreeing with everyone else. If Sunday's behavior and actions on that panel caused everyone to turn against him, how is that on me? Yeah. Yeah, can I say something? I, something I, I think, because I went back through and I watched that panel. If you watch this panel, I had a lot of really positive things to say about Sunday on that panel. My okay, there are no more extremely mild. infested terrorists, right? There. Some of the things I said in front of Destiny, I might add, Bro. is about his reputation Bro. with Destiny on stream over the Capitals Manifesto was extremely strong. In fact, I said I thought it was the best one that had been put out. Additionally, I said that when President Sunday is at his best, he's an exceptionally skilled advocate for the causes he believes in. Like, this is not the words of someone who's like my motivation is to come in and and uh you make him look like a fool wait you've seen me like we've interacted as i plan for these things i do a lot of research right and one of the things is you're doing research is you get a nuanced view about people i don't think president sunday is 100 terrible in fact i reached out to him before the panel to say just to let you know i i, I do plan to talk about this uh erudite thing i hope that's not going to upset you it's not personal i'm just trying to be professional and nice about it if if you know if you're in this space Criticism is something you you have to be able to accept, you know. And, and like reasoned, friendly criticism is the easiest version of that to accept. So, um, you know, in my view, I don't think you did anything wrong. Oh well, and, and again, like a, a lot of there's, the reception was mostly positive, but there are people who had problems with this, that, or the other, and that's fine, right? Like I'm I'm a big proponent of taking what people say, even the negative yeah. things, and yeah. kind of uh, cook, what's the word? Uh, digesting it for a bit and seeing if there's value there and either internalizing it or throwing it up, depending on, on what I feel is the uh, the best case scenario. There are, if you want to give me criticisms about how I run my panels, absolutely. Everyone's welcome to do so. Even mean-spirited ones, I will accept it, right? But I just, it, it, it I am I'm struggling to see the validity of this one, given how much care I put into putting on that show. Now, again, uh, another criticism I got is that I interject too much, but this is something that people, on, even on a professional level, do. If you watch a BBC debate or if you watch a presidential debate, <laughs> you interject with questions, <laughs> clarifying or otherwise. I'll right? watch one of those. Um, and again, I'm not perfect at this. If you could point to, I'm sure I would agree that there are times where I interjected where I probably shouldn't have, right? And times where I should have interjected when I didn't. I get that. Uh, but yeah, I just... I think we're going to talk about this later in the week. I think that might be our Friday topic. It might be the, the incentive to dishonesty or the incentive to misrepresent others in this space because there are large amounts of that. And I think it's... it's, it's I think there's a real assumption that the people that you're talking to have bad motivations that I think is really non-constructive. Um, you know, I definitely there are definitely people in this space that, that take a view to... Yeah, you know, there, there's some posturing. You're on camera. I'm not gonna tell you there, there's not a, a theatrical component to it. But I also think the viewers are pretty smart, right? I think you can tell who's who's genuine and who's who's acting out. I, I think so. Um, so I don't know. I feel like a, a generally good course of action is to assume the best in people until they've shown me that's not a good, um, you know, way to feel. I mean, like Demon Mama. I, I'm, I'm trying to think through with her. A lot of trans people tend to, for understandable reasons, be a little bit wary of therapy and therapists, right? So I can I can imagine someone having a little bit more of a dim view on, you know. Kind of. Um, I don't think that makes it true necessarily, but I, I, I could understand if Demon Mama was, you know, coming with that that experience, you know, um, you know, obviously adding to the what? Her, her interpretation of the situation. Well, one last question before I let, because there's a couple people in and they want to sure. talk to us. Um, but uh, one last question for you. Uh, overall, are you happy with with the Destiny, like uh, with your uh, appearance on my show on Destiny? What do you oh, think I'm, about the overall? So I don't, Wick. I don't know how you feel. I am so tired to my bones of internet drama. And it was really meaningful to me to be able, like Dusty and I have said some pretty mean things to each other online, right? And I'm and? just saying this sincerely, like don't take this as me endorsing everything he's ever said or his actions, or you know, I'm not trying to suck up to him or kiss his ass. I'm saying for me personally, it felt really good for the soul to just put aside some differences and have an adult conversation with someone for an hour that I thought was extremely productive. And I, I think if we can model that kind of behavior for people, I think it's a good way forward in my view. Excellent, excellent. Um, I think I agree with you. I think that, like, there is a... No! Unfortunately, though, right, while it might feel good, it might, might be the best path forward, I think there are financial incentives in place in, in this space that make that uh, less likely to happen. There are barriers and obstacles that we have to overcome. But we'll talk about that another day. I want to... I don't want to... I don't want to uh, belabor the point. So why don't... Uh, weaponize Discord. Can you send in I a caller uh, for us to talk to? I can't see my cursor, dude. I'm so old. There's okay. a way to, like, make it bigger, isn't there? <laughs> I'll DM her. I forget sometimes there's a, a delay, right, uh, between here and the stream itself. Um, so I'm just gonna DM her and tell her to send someone in. VF, VF. Uh, I will just pull them in, uh, I guess. Oh, there we go. Hello. 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 Hi, Rihanna. Uh, uh, unfortunately, my question is for Wick, but uh, I guess it involves a panel that you were on. Um, so, I, I'm curious. It seems oh. like. Um, Everybody, uh, you guys kind of touched on it. Uh, sort of, it. It looks like a lot of people dogpiled Sunday, and um, 
there, there's things flying around. Did you in any way set that up? Because uh, like if so, my hat's off to you. I don't like Sunday. Wait, are you crazy. even uh, listening to the Sunday, show, uh, bro? That's still be pretty messed up. Okay. And I like you, so I figured. I understand. Uh, Asking me to cool to hold your account. Um, as I said, I, I think. Oh, we're getting an echo from you, and you can hear your keyboard. It is, is it okay if you mute yourself for a minute? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Just uh, for the audio quality. Uh, again, once again, um, no, uh, I did not. Uh, do dog piles happen on my show? And was it a dog pile? Kind of, but that wasn't due to me setting it up beforehand. There was no balance of forethought. Um, if you make, if you behave in certain ways and treat everyone really shitty, and then they respond to you, I mean that that's what's going to happen. If I come on a panel, even with people who are uh, friendly towards me, people who agree with me. And I am constantly sniping. I am constantly interrupting. I am constantly um, interjecting with bad faith comments. People are going to call me out on that, and rightly so. Does that make it a Bro! dog pile? Was I ambushed? Was I set up? I don't think so. I don't know. What do you think? Woo, any any thoughts? Uh, well, I, know we, I wanted we just to ask you really quickly, Elder, if you don't mind me asking. I mean, uh, <sighs> the clip that got played was me um, basically calling out a little bit of hypocrisy. You know, um, I think I was very even-handed. I cited my source. I was polite about it. Um, he, he kind of freaked out about it. I mean, in your view, having watched that clip, did did I dogpile <gasps> anyone? I thought I was just trying to have a conversation and be even-handed. I don't really think it's up to the individual, uh, to an individual, whether or not a dog pile happened. Um, so like, I also don't think it's really an individual's. Um, like, it wouldn't just be on you if it did. Like, I'm not saying, like, you're responsible, you're a bad person. Sure. Um, I, I've heard the criticism a lot, and it's worth talking about, it's worth asking, because, like, my feelings about it don't matter. Uh, but if, if uh, Sunday feels that way, and I'm not a fan of his, uh, then I think I think it needs to be talked about. We can't just sweep it under the rug. Sure, and I want to yeah. just, uh, if I may, uh, sure. I just want to be clear, uh, I have no ill will towards Sunday. If Sunday wants back on my show, he's free to come back on my show. If he thinks, uh, if he thinks there's a, a, a value to that, uh, if he doesn't like my moderation, we can get a guest moderator, a moderator uh, of his choice. Uh, if he has beef with me and he wants to discuss it or if he wants to uh, argue with me, uh, I'm down for it, right? Um, maybe we can get Aaron, Stray Raiders, guest moderator. Um, she likes this one, right? Um, so that, that might be a possibility. Like, like I said, it's pretty different on my end, right? I think there's value to what he has to say. Uh, much like Wu, when he's at his best, I think he has very uh, cogent and uh, well-spoken criticisms of certain things in society that I would absolutely agree with him on. Um, yeah. Obviously, I don't agree with him all the time, but that is what it is. Okay, if you go watch his video, so like there's a video with Destiny, and Destiny is, is going through and listening to his response of the, the couple's uh, uh, manifesto. And Destiny is, ah! about, I gotta tell you, I thought Destiny was making excellent points. And then Sunday gets on stream, they have a calm discussion together about that. And in my view, like Sunday very clearly won that um, exchange of ideas. It's friendly, it's civil, what? he brought his significant intellect to bear. It's, it's compelling stuff. I told him before the show, I could have tried to prepare for a year, and I could not have put together something that good. The man has talent. I, I just. I think that you know sometimes in these spaces our own insecurities can be our biggest enemy um and i think unfortunately that was what happened here um there's clearly something inside the man that's really scared of being um people telling him he's wrong and i think he'd be a far more effective advocate if he could grow beyond that well, uh and uh thanks for coming any other questions before we let you go uh no i'm really excited to see this uh sorry it's right because uh because I, I really like you and uh, if i didn't ask that it would have bugged me so okay. uh and thanks for being uh cool uh we're uh, with me popping in here to ask that of course of course thank you for helping us kill some time um, and again, once again, I want to apologize to my audience for this. Um, it happens, right? Uh, when dealing with very oh my so God. I appreciate you sticking around for those of you who have. Uh, okay, webinized discourse. I'll DM you to bring in the next contestant. Or I'll just pick one. Uh, webinized discourse is great because she, uh, she acts like a gatekeeper, right? So we don't have any, uh... She Crazy. sent me the nice DM. I've not gotten around to answering it yet because I need to write her something substantive. <laughs> so I really like her a lot. I like her too. She's great. She does my editing and she helps produce. So, um, that's the... Where are my things here? I'll bring in... Just, just send in whichever one you want. Even if, even if they're just here to chill with us. Okay, in the meantime, while she's trying to sort that out. Um, I will say that, uh... I'm, I'm excited for the discussion too. This is something I've been thinking about most most of the week, right? Um, I have, and I'll confess, I've only seen some of Mr. Girl's content. I mm -hmm. saw a couple of his videos on the subject. Um, I've seen some of his interactions on panels before, like on Stardust Show, uh, when she went on the Supernova, when he went on on, on her Supernova panel. Um, I thought that uh, he was interesting on there. So I'm curious to see how he'll do, kind of in a one-on-one -on -one moderated setting. Yeah. Um, I'm very interested also to see how. Uh, he's able to respond to some of your criticism that you've been loving. Um, I guess we'll find out in about 30 minutes, gang. So hold on to your butts. <laughs> I think I'm going to surprise you, because I think if uh, anyone out there is expecting this to be, like, an academic feminist discussion of me saying the same shit you've heard before, that's not what's going to happen today. So, um, I think- What is that? I think we're going to have a conversation about consent that has not happened before. Oh, uh, something unique? Something- I don't know. Okay, I, I, I don't mean to doubt you, but I'm going to express a little bit of doubt here before we'll we get to- happens. Uh, oh. We will see what happens, but one moment. Um, hi. Hi. Hello, hello. 
My hair is crazy today. It is a little crazy, but that's okay. My hair is crazy too, so we'll, we'll work together. How's it going, buddy? I'm good. Uh, how are you guys? Feeling it. It's like good. a tiger in a cage, ready for awesome. Mr. Girl discussion. <laughs> yeah, I'm a President Snow fan, and I saw the panel. And personally, I didn't think it was very dog piley at all. That, that was my take. At least, it didn't seem President Snow was taking it that way, except other than physical reactions, maybe. I mean, yeah, I tell us tell us a little bit more. I mean, what makes you a fan of his, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm kind of a sucker for naivete. Um, I think usually earnestness and naivety are kind of conflated. Um, it's not always the same thing, you know, just because someone... President Snow is the type of person where it seems like, you know, they're too good to be true. And usually that adage is usually very true. Usually I subscribe to that can adage I ask, myself. Can I ask, why do you keep calling him President Snow? Is this a meme that I'm aware of? Oh, okay. What, 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 uh, what's the uh, what's, uh, verbiage then? It was a meme, I, I think. Oh, In was the it? President Snow know. community. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sure. I don't know, right? right? Like, I don't hang out. Like, I, I'll give you, like, when it comes to naivete, when it comes to memes, I'm very gullible and naive. <laughs> I don't know what these things. I don't follow yeah. No President Snow is the villain in Hunger Games, right? I wasn't sure if that was the connection being made. Uh, no, yeah, I'm just I'm just a fan, and I caught it from the panel, so. Okay. Yeah, well, cool. okay. Uh, do you have any questions for either of us, or are you just kind of chilling? I would well, love to ask you, do you think I was fair to him in my, my question to him? I mean, yeah, that's what it seemed like to me. And personally, it seemed like President Snow felt the same. I mean, he kind of hyperfixated on you pretty much as soon as you started talking about uh, the lefty, you know, like, um, media company for mainstream media that could kind of help out with um, balancing out, I suppose, sure. the information stream yep. of, you know, the entire culture. I guess. I mean, I would love, I mean, Sunday clearly has talent, and if there were a version of him that were able to work with others more effectively, I would absolutely include him on that, right? He's, 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 he's got a message, he's certainly got a fan base. I just, um, I think it's an important question to ask, why can, why don't all the leftist streamers get along? Um, I don't think it's conducive. I mean, you know, we all saw the fight with uh, Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro, but you know, generally speaking, I've never seen, you know, I've never seen uh, Sean Hannity go after Bill O'Reilly, right? They seem to get along, and it, it, it seems to be good for their career. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. Um, so I'm pretty young myself. I'm only about 26, which is roughly the same age as President Snow, from what I know. Um, so when it comes to like deep politics, like uh, deep politics, when it comes to like Bill O'Reilly, era stuff, yeah. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that kind of stuff mm -hmm. personally. But I do notice that typically people on the right tend to be much more unified than people on the left, and I think that's because the left tends to promote diversity so much that um, it, it's really hard to be tolerant of intolerance, right? So yep. it's like hard to be diverse and like super open to everyone because that's a threat for like that action. I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna disagree with you. Okay. I think okay. the left uh, promotes uh, superficial diversity, but when it comes to diversity of thought, at least the extreme left absolutely has been, that has been a problem that I've seen. Uh, you ah. are lockstep or you are not a leftist, right? We talked a little yeah. bit about this on the panel. Yeah. Um, if I may ask, right, um, uh, what's, your, what's your name, Surprise? Yeah, Surprise. Surprise, that's not a prize. Okay, Surprise. Uh, you mentioned being a President Sunday fan. Uh, can what is your what's your favorite uh, video of his or favorite um, interaction that you've seen with him? If I may. President Sunday's videos. President Snow. President Sunday. Oh, President, yeah. President Snow. President Snow. President Sunday. Um, like when it comes to political, is there anything any particular? No, whatever. Job? Whatever you think. Yeah, is just whatever comes thing. to mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I really like when they're with uh, Vosh, and I enjoyed seeing them with Keffels and Ami. Um, just because for the most part, there there really wasn't a whole lot of talking to be done. It was mostly just. Opinions that, as both a fan of both those people, I had heard before, but it was nice to get a thorough, you know, here's here's the reason we have these thoughts, and then they really drag you through the whole thought process. That was super helpful. Makes a lot of sense. I gotta ask, are you a Mr. Girl fan? Uh, I'm not a Mr. Girl at the moment, but uh, I'm sure they're great. Uh, well, you're gonna get away oh, tonight. Yes, Hold on to your butts, yes, gang. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. What about? Are you yes, a, I, are you I a Brianna Wu fan? Oh, I am now. Oh, Absolutely. That's very sweet. You've been wooed by Woo. I get yeah. it. That's a meme. I'm sorry, I don't know a whole lot about your uh, your past work. It's all from secondhand sources. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm a former video game developer. Uh, I think most people know me for Gamergate, unfortunately. Um, I ran for the United States Congress, and I am the second fastest uh, speedrunner with Princess Peach in the entire world. I'm doing that GDQ next week. Wow. Damn. What a gamer. Among others. Hardcore gamer. Like gamer. <laughs> gamer. Any, any other thoughts before we uh, send you to the void surprise? No, I'm ready to go. You guys can uh, send it. Well, thank you for coming by. Um, that was interesting. It's always nice to see how people who are kind of a newer to my content or newer to the guest content and see how they interact and see what they enjoy, what they don't, etc. That was a very, very wholesome call. -up. Thank you. I like that. Yeah, it really matches something I saw when I ran for office, which is you can have people with wide differences, but if you're talking to them face to face, it's just a lot harder to hate them, right? Um, it, it's just, I don't know, always good to talk to people. There is a big difference, right, between how people will talk about someone when they are not in the room um how they will interact with them when they are not around 
uh, versus how they will interact with them on a call. And there's a difference between how we interact on a call and how people interact in life as well. I think that uh, we miss each other a lot because we lack that face-to-face. -face. Uh, we make so many assumptions of each other that are just wildly wrong and incorrect, but only because we do not have those cues that you would get in a face-to-face -face setting. Um, camera is the best uh, facsimile of it that we can manage with online interaction, but it's still pretty good. Uh, Weaponize Discourse, if you want to send in uh, Secrios or the next person, if they're, uh, if they're vetted, if they're okay. DMing or two, I have to juggle this a little bit. You do your thing. I try, I try. Um, when it comes to speed running, right? What got you into that? Oh my god, so um, Super Mario 2 came out in what year was it? 1988. And you've got to understand, back in the NES era, there were just not games uh, starring women. So I became obsessed with that uh, game, just playing it over and over and over again uh, with Princess Peach. So um, it's a game I'm extremely, extremely good at, and you know, eventually it became a sport. So it's like, let's get into it. It's like, you almost have to have, I almost wonder if I have a low level of autism, because like you're playing the same section over and over and over again to save a frame. But uh, you know, I'm one of the fastest uh, Resident Evil uh, speedrunners in the entire world, Resident Evil 3 Remake. Um, it's just, it's a deeply, deeply rewarding uh, competitive space. Interesting. Like I've... I, again, I, uh, I understand the appeal to it. It's just, I like to take my time. I like to turn-based oh, no, right? So no. I like to sit there, think for about an hour on what I'm going to do. It's it's terrible when people play with me. In board games especially, I got analysis paralysis. But anyway, enough about me. Hello. Uh, hello there. Uh, it's nice to uh, meet you too. I'm just here to like, throw in a, like, a fairly quick question. You know, sure. Get through. Um, for, for the past year, uh, I've noticed various different, um, both video essayists and reactionists, um, referred to it, um, about gatekeeping, whether it be uh, spaces or whether it be certain like, identities or credentials. Like in the recent panel, um, President Sunday was very harsh towards uh, one or two panel members involved in their academic credentials. And it kind of got me wondering, um, in your opinion, Brianna, do, do you believe that there is a time and a place for gatekeeping or is like gatekeeping like university talks or whatever? No, of course there is. Um, I think with credentials, uh, if you have professional credentials, I think it's important to represent those accurately. I think the, uh, the difference of opinion at, at play is, um, you know, did Kyla represent them accurately? I think it's very clear that she did, um, you know, so, um, but no, I don't think gatekeeping is, is inherently bad at all. Okay then, uh, thank you for answering my question. <laughs> what do you that think? It? What yeah, makes you ask think? that question? Yeah. Uh, well, my last question was like, Jesus. Anything, I'm kind of like caught up in the whole creative, like, culture stuff, sure. basically. I, I do a lot of, like, creative stuff involving, like, animations and stuff. <gasps> so I have to, like, you know, keep my ear to the ground on, like, what's, like, rumbling and happening and all that jazz. And because of such, um, in some spaces, like, people <coughs> might call themselves like, a fan of a group. But then when new new fans come on, they they, they saw like maybe like the, the like the core premise, but there might be some aspect of it they either it's they, they don't understand or they do understand but don't like it, and you, you get a lot of like infighting in different like fan groups and stuff. Yeah. And sometimes it gets a bit it can sometimes teeter towards a bit of a yeah. of a bizarre right left dichotomy, even yep. though it isn't always the case. And it's like I, I'm wondering if gatekeeping should be viewed as a tool or like some sort of I think there's a really big difference in gatekeeping uh you know do you like the, the are you a real fan of Star Wars and someone representing their professional credentials I think in the the former example I would almost always say that's that's terrible um I want to ask you say you do animation I'm a former game developer do you use After Effects uh, uh what, what oh. do you specialize in okay so I, I think I dedicated most of my profession in like the early stage of my career to the source engine oh uh, dude yeah. I'm a former Unreal developer we can geek out about this for days holy shit Oh, man. Well, we don't uh, have days, we have a few minutes, but go on. Oh, oh okay. Um, long story short, I made a magnum opus called Black Dust the Pilot. It was like a, a short 15 minute film on YouTube. It's kind of like a, an action adventure with demons and like mafiosos and stuff. It's really wild and off the cuff, basically. That's sweet. Is sources, I, I personally never worked with it because I'm an Unreal specialist. Is it as difficult? Like, I, I hear that it is an increasingly aging engine that is poorly documented. Uh, is that, does that match with your experience? I think. I think it depends because the people that use Source are incredibly passionate about it and they do keep a lot of it alive. The mm -hmm. fact that they, they kept like TF2 on life support just out of sheer yep. fan engagement, that like actual Valve are like, oh, hey, wait a minute, they're still <laughs> playing? Wait, what? And then they, they come in and they, they announce they're going to be making a new update. So I think it depends who you ask. It does definitely have limitations, but if it's in terms of accessibility, I think it is like a, an easier engine to get into. No, hello? Oh. To, like, oh, I want a character here. I want him to move it on here. I want a little bit of a spring and it does some of the math for you. So it's sure. really quick. Yeah, most engines do that though. Um, so if you did a, so you did a Magnum Opus, were you like creating Forgive me, because the terms are going to be different. How many thank yous? Yeah, well, look at how wholesome we're, we're making connections. We're building. Okay. We appreciate you coming in, and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank I'm going to pop off for two seconds. Yeah, I'll do your thing. Right do your thing. Uh, in the meantime, right? In the meantime, I just want to let everyone know what kind of experience had with Destiny. Oh, no, I just skipped that so much. Thank you. 
Fuck. Yeah, I agree. And you know, with the Josh Hawley thing, I, I want to be really clear. Uh, so the tweet at hand is Josh Hawley is um, putting out a, um, a bill called the Protect Children Act that basically prohibits kids uh, under 16 from uh, forming social media accounts. You know, that would not stop them from you know, doing IRC, for instance, or researching stuff online. You know, there are a lot of ways to find community in in in, in 2023. Uh, um, you know, I'm not even saying I'm for that, right? I'm saying, you know what? I think there's a discussion to be had about what social media is doing to young people because there's study after study showing it's increasing suicidality, it's increasing body dysmorphia in girls and you know if we have that discussion and we bring in the experts my inclination is it's going to go well you know we don't need to ban them from it but we do need to get this algorithm tweaked in this way or we need to make it so young people are getting a um you know basically they're just seeing their friends feed instead of an algorithm being applied to it i just i think there's a discussion to be had about you know what the best way forward is as far as you know, keeping, what um, like clearly we're fucking kids up and we're gonna get into that on today's panel um are and we? i just don't accept it yeah we are okay we'll um, so i just I think we need to be open to that discussion, if that makes sense. No, it absolutely makes sense. And, and I think that, that, that again, we we, uh, we engage in tribalism in our peril, at our peril, sure. right? I think that there is absolutely an argument to be made, right? Even, look, the fact that I am at risk of hearing a 14-year-old's opinion on anything on Twitter is a war crime, okay? That that cannot happen. I, I anything, any, that, that is just wrong to me, right? Like, I think that they, we need sh much stronger age gates. I don't, I'm not a tech savvy guy. I don't know what this looks like, right? And I can understand there might be unintended consequences to things like this that I'm not aware of. That might change my mind if I've been made aware of, but I'm very much for a, almost like a state act. Not, they do that. They like to. Firm a ban. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that, dude. We're not going to bring you on, buddy. Uh, this ain't your show. We're going to have a call smart. after. That was really smart. Um, that was God tier trolling. It was, it was a nice try. Uh, luckily, I, this ain't my first rodeo game. They ain't my first rodeo. Um, but yes, I think that like, uh, well, if you liked Starship Troopers, there's another yes. book called Armor. That was really good. But Mr. Girl is here, so we won't be talking about that now. We'll, we'll talk about cool. timeline another time. Real. Hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I want to apologize again uh, for the miscommunication. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I uh, was avoiding throwing you under the bus into the jaws of justice. I just said we had a mix. What does this but, mean? Um, Jaws of justice. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? What is this? What is this? Do I need like some crazy? Is there about to be some crazy coming through? Proxy gate and photon cannon. Proxy air? Why would he build the pylon here? I feel like I just overbuilt. I got an early roach horn. That I'm not collecting gas for. He might just be retarded. Get detection? He didn't. I don't... Appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate your mercy, good sir. Uh, oh, well, thank yeah. you for that. I'm very merciful. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, Rihanna, you'll see that yourself uh, today. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm, uh, yeah. I am, uh, I'm ready to go. Okay, well, let me uh, be first, uh, just for the, the VOD that we'll be uh, putting out. I will introduce the topic, um, I will introduce myself. I will give you all a brief introduction, brief, concise opening statements, and then we'll just kind of get into it. Uh, to just kind of reiterate the rules here, um, as I think you both agreed to beforehand, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, now's the time to interject if I am uh, mistaken here. But as I see it, let me bring it up. I had it up. Give me one moment. Okay, so yes. Scrolled up because I was checking to make sure. Uh, okay, so I will only be stepping in if someone is disingenuous or smearing the other person. Uh, I will also be stepping in if one person is dominating the conversation, not letting the other person respond or answer the questions, I will be stepping in and, and, and muting um, uh, so that each of you get space to speak. Uh, and also, if one of you brings up a topic that we previously agreed not to discuss, I'll step in and stop that from happening. What is the robo facility for? Unless there is a question in my mind oh, he's that got a I fast might, third, uh, I bet. throw out there, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, welcome, one and all, to another episode of WIC TV, a cross-ideological space where we come together with a, a wide diversity of thought uh, to discuss matters of the no? day. Um, we are joined by the lovely Mr. Girl and Brianna Wu uh, to discuss consent today. What it is, it, what it is, um, where it matters, and where I don't know what he's doing. Uh, how it relates to interpersonal and financial interactions. And uh, yeah, uh, with that, I'm just gonna let them get at it. So uh, we'll start with Brianna Wu. What are your thoughts? Let's what go. What the fuck? What the fuck? You didn't want to start with Brianna Wu? I think a coin toss would be in order, but fine. <laughs> you know I go first, dude. Be my guest, that's totally cool. No, no. Uh, oh. You know, so- I'm sorry, hold on. I, I'm gonna switch effect to after this, if we're gonna listen to this. I understand he has no fast gas, but everything seems late. He doesn't have a third. What is what is this build? 
He has nothing. Look, he has nothing. He has no gas at his expo. I see a warp prism. Or a, a, a robo facility. There's no third. What's happening? He's just trash? He's masters. He's diamond, don't overthink it. He's he's not, he's masters. He should like have like a build order, at least. This, he has, to, I don't understand how his third is so late. Okay, there's, okay, so he's doing some, what the fuck? Oh, that's what it is. I'm, I think I'm just dead. Uh, mutas aren't enough. Banelings probably won't be on time. Do the um Do the warp prisms do bonus damage to um queens now? He must have a third by now, right? <clears throat> oh no, he's just gonna keep pumping units. This is a little silly.
if he doesn't have a third, maybe we have a chance? Oof, oh my god, do we? I have like no way of like defending against this stupid f war prison. It's gonna have a robo um Oh my god. I get I bet that's a safe spot. gonna be stalkers and oh it's gonna be stalkers and immortals Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't even have this. Dude, this is not. Swarm forces under an attack. Middle field exhausted. Oh, he was trying to DT run by my.
I have to hit this and I have to kill it or else I lose right now. I don't know if there's any way I win this ever. I'm so curious what he's waiting for. You just must not have very much confidence. Oh, now he's got... I think I was like, I was probably at like half workers, I think. At I was down to 20 and he had like 40 plus, 50, yeah. 